The Circus, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast. Philippians 2, 3, do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Let me tell you a story about Catherine Hepburn and a trip to the circus that she made when she was a little girl for tonight's nightlight. Catherine Hepburn's childhood, in her own words, she said, once I was a teenager, my father and I were standing in line to buy tickets for the circus. Finally, there was only one other family between us and the ticket counter. This family made a big impression on me. There were eight children, all probably under the age of 12. The way they were dressed, you could tell they didn't have a lot of money, but their clothes were neat and clean. The children were well behaved, all of them standing in line two by two behind their parents, holding hands. They were excited and jabbering about the clowns and the animals and all the acts they would be seeing that night. By their excitement, you could sense they'd never been to a circus before. It would be the highlight of their lives. The father and mother at the head of the pack, standing proud as could be. The mother was holding her hand, husband's hand and looking at him as if to say, you're my knight in shining armor. He was smiling and enjoyed seeing his family happy. The ticket lady asked the man how many tickets he wanted. He proudly responded, I'd like to buy eight children's tickets, two adult tickets, so I can take my family to the circus. The ticket lady stated the price. The man's wife let go of his hand and her head dropped. The man's lip began to quiver. Then he leaned a little closer and asked, how much did you say? The ticket lady again stated the price. The man didn't have enough money. How was he supposed to turn around and tell his eight kids he didn't have enough money to take them to the circus? Seeing what was going on, my dad reached into his pocket and pulled out a $20 bill and dropped it on the ground. We were not wealthy in any sense of the word. My father bent down and picked up the $20 bill, $20 bill tapped the man on the shoulder and said, Excuse me, sir, this fell out of your pocket. The man understood what was going on. He wasn't begging for a handout, but certainly appreciated the help in a desperate, heartbreaking, and embarrassing situation. He looked straight into my dad's eyes and took my dad's hand in both of his, squeezed tight uh, onto the $20 bill with his lip quivering and a tear streaming down his cheek. He replied, thank you, thank you, sir. This really means a lot to me and my family. My father and I went back to our car and drove home. The $20 that my dad gave away was what we were going to buy our own tickets with. Although we didn't get to see the circus that night, we both felt joy inside. Inside of us far greater than seeing the circus could have provided. That day I learned the value of giving. The giver is to give is better than to receive. If you want to be large, larger than life, learn to give. Love has nothing to do with what you're expecting to get, only with what you're expecting to give which is everything. The importance of giving and blessing others can never be overemphasized because there's always joy in giving. Learn to make someone happy by acts of giving. Katherine Hepburn. Boy, I hope the circus lesson can be something I can learn in my life. Maybe you can learn in yours. Let's learn to be givers like God is a giver. What a tremendous illustration. Let's pray. Mighty Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you that your son Jesus was a giver. He gave his life on Calvary after giving us an example of what it looks like to live in, in a God-honoring life on this planet. I pray that you'd help us, God, to, to be ready for the home in heaven that he's waiting to give us as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.